Hey guys, welcome back and today we're here at a Royal Enfield showroom. But this ain't your regular Royal Enfield showroom. This one's special. So let's step outside and find out why. Link Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the world's only Royal Enfield Garage Cafe. So we have with us Mr. Weber from the Royal Enfield Garage Cafe with us today. So Mr. Weber, tell us what makes this place so special. So the Royal Enfield Garage Cafe is basically, it's meant to be a beacon for the brand. It's, it's an experience zone or an experience center if you may call it. It's, it's a very unique space for, for us to showcase the culture of Royal Enfield, you know. I mean, we do have a lot of touch points with the existing and potential customers all across the country and now the world. But uh, the Royal Enfield Garage Cafe is a one of its kind across the entire world, wherein we move beyond a, a regular brand showroom and a brand workshop. We also have a museum where we're sitting right now, surrounded by beautiful motorcycles ranging from vintage bikes all the way up to absolute unique bespoke customs, you know. So it's basically an experience zone where people can come and experience what this brand is, what we stand for, beyond just the products that we're selling, but what the ethos of the brand is and how it can touch the lives of various people, you know. So what made you all actually choose this location? Like, So we wanted, uh, the, the Garage Cafe was always meant to be like a melting pot for motorcycles and the Royal Enfield culture and uh, we obviously wanted to uh, allow exposure to eyeballs from across the world. So Goa to us seemed like the ideal destination to open a venture of this sort purely because you get people visiting here from across the world, uh, people of uh, varying uh, nationalities, backgrounds and interests and uh, we felt this was the perfect uh, place to reach out to them. And uh, I see a lot of lovely bikes all around, you know, some vintage ones, some modern, some customized ones. So, could you give us a tour around the place? Absolutely. So, I'd like to begin with this. This is, uh, it's called the Flying Flea. It dates back to the late 30s, early 40s. And uh, as you can see, it comes uh, pretty much uh, in a cage. So, this bike was actually uh, designed to be uh, thrown off planes in parachutes and it was used in the war in World War II uh, to land behind enemy lines so that the paratroopers had a quick, nimble, lightweight means of uh, transport, you know. So obviously it was left back there but uh, this was the whole idea. A small, nifty little bike, 126cc two-stroke engine, you know, just simple, it did the job, helped out the troops in the war, you know. But uh, unique, you know, like the whole, yes, the way no, the parachute either. would uh, take this down through the cage and all. So it was really great. Light enough that a soldier could pick it up with two, two hands. It was uh, it was great, you know. Brilliant uh, idea in engineering. So yeah. Now moving on from that, maybe what I'd like to showcase to you also is uh, another bit of history for Royal Enfield. Uh, these two. Now, 
uh, as you know, we've also recently, a couple of years back, launched our 650 twins. Yes. One yes. was the Continental GT. Correct. That this was the original precursor to that. This is the original Royal Enfield Continental GT. This was a single cylinder 250. Okay. And it was the first production cafe racer in the world. Okay. So people would normally buy regular road bikes road bike. and yes. strip them down and put on drop handlebars to kind of make them like cafe racers. Yes. So Royal Enfield was the first brand who decided to just make one off the factory lines as a cafe racer. And this is her, you know? Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. And uh, beyond that, uh, this is again our proud Interceptor. So this is the precursor to the Interceptor 650. Okay. This one is again, these both these bikes are from the 60s. Okay. This one is a 750cc oh. Interceptor. Okay. And uh, again, this is the original inspiration to the current Interceptor that we sell yes. in India today and across the world again, you know. Okay. Okay. But this is also another beautiful bike. I mean, my favorite part of this bike is what we call uh, in modern terminology, steering dampers, you know. And this one has a manual steering damper. You can literally take this knob and tighten it and loosen it to adjust how how much you want to damp your steering, That's you know. Really interesting. So simple technology, but so ingenious, you know. So this uh, this is what we call the rooster. Okay. This is based on a Himalayan, which is our uh, adventure tourer. But uh, the unique thing about this is this is a three wheeler. It's a trike, you know. Okay. Okay. And uh, this is like the quintessential uh, mating of Royal Enfield with Goa, you know. It's the perfect bike for, it's the perfect Royal Enfield for Goa actually. It's got uh, three wheels, like it's literally been taken off an ATV, the rear shaft. It's actually got a differential in the back also. And it's got very interesting um, uh, hand, uh, a gear shifter from the hand. Yeah. And we've incorporated little small little details like a speaker system here you know oh, yeah, with a with an aux port so you yes. can play your music while you're like chilling on the beaches in goa so yeah the rooster because yeah, you know you can rooster. create roosts with the rear wheels and all so yeah this is it is the quintessential goa bike you know yeah Lovely. and uh, from the biggest to the smallest in the museum this one is uh, in a, in, it's a detailed scale model i think a one is to three of our uh, ever popular classic 500 yes. so these bikes were uh, you know what brought royal enfield to its uh, current glory and uh, this motorcycle again i'm proud to say has been manufactured and fabricated completely in house by our product development team back in chennai in our headquarters you know so every little part every minute detail mm -hmm down to even the, the rubber parts, you know, they have okay. created the molds for things like the tires, even the foot pegs, right. uh, everything, you know, mm -hmm. there's a, I mean, if you look at the details, the, the clamps for the hose, the, the wiring, the, the ignition key, yeah, the, key and... the spokes, the, the indicators, the fins on the engine, it's all there and it's all been made in-house, you know. So, so I personally love so this piece. Is this also a one-off? Like... This is a one-off, yeah. Oh. This, this is a, definitely cost us more to make than the actual motorcycle <laughs> of the assembly line, you know. Yeah. Thank you so much for you know showing us around the place and uh, you know we, there were so many things that we learnt that we didn't know so this is a really nice place to come or you know even our audience out there to like come visit this place and there's so much to see and so much to know from history to present and things that we've never seen before. Good, so, good. I'm so glad you guys came. Yeah, we're glad you came. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes. You're welcome. So that was a lovely tour given by Vibov. So now let's go and chill out at the cafe. <laughs> guys come down have a drink chill out at the cafe take a tour of the museum pick up apparel as well and maybe even pick up your next royal enfield bike hi francis so and while you're at that please subscribe to Talkless. see you next video